Uh, welcome to my channel. Today I'm farming black bank claws for the if you are wanting rep, then I hope this helps you as well. First thing you're going to want to do is get onto a tank. Then go over to Tanan Jungle, to your faction hub, and if you don't have it yet, you want to swap out your garrison ability for the Guardian Orb. The Mecha Shredder died after about 6 seconds. Call to Arms died instantly. The Guardian Orb stayed up for its entire duration, so that's going to be the best uh, garrison ability for the farming process. If you have a bodyguard, take someone with that can AOE. That's going to help out a lot as well. And then once you've got all that, you want to head over to Fangrela. And you're going to head over to this area over here. I've, I, don't, I didn't need to go to any other area. This area was sufficient. And what you're going to do is you're going to start pulling and backpedaling to the next mob. Because I find if you pull and run straight up to go and get more, the others that you pull tend to reset. So what I did was I, I pulled them, backpedaled to the next mob, pulled them and kept on going like that until I had a good decent group to, uh, to mow down. Um, these are the talents that I'm using. This is how my paladin, or how I play my paladin, this is my preference. So if you want to choose something else, by all means go ahead and do it. Um, another thing you have to take into account is if you are on a PvP server like me, you will run into some hiccups where the opposite faction is going to occasionally come there and sometimes kill you. It's going to put a damper on your farming. It might not. You might have to compete with other groups if you're on the same faction for farming. Um, that is definitely one of the big things I have found on a PvE server is there are always groups active or actively farming these areas so you're going to have to compete with them quite a bit as well while farming I had a timer running so that I could see how many black bank claws I was picking up and due to some hiccups that didn't go as planned I only managed to get about seven yeah just I, I got an average of about 700 that hour. Um, the mobs knocked me into respawns, so I had to deal with them as well, and they took quite a while to kill. I had members of the opposite faction flying down and killing me, or farming the area and killing me. There was a nice group, though, that came, killed the ads I was killing, and then moved on. Um, but yeah, PvP. E seems to have a different problem where you'll find a lot more active groups farming the areas so there is that competition for them. Overall you should get around about a thousand maybe more depending on how quickly you can kill them per hour. Now I'm going to speed the video up a bit because I don't want it to be too long. Um, so yeah, let's get the show on the road.
another thing I wanted to mention was if you can find a crevice to put your back in so you don't get knocked back, help. I usually tried pulling quite a few people so that they kept me rooted in place so that I could keep popping my OEs down and killing them quickly. Um, having your back against the wall really does help. Thanks for watching guys, if you enjoyed it and if it was helpful then please like, comment and subscribe. It really does help my channel grow. I am trying to expand. I am also trying to get my channel big enough so that I can start bringing more content for more MMOs for more people. I really enjoy doing this and it really is exciting as well. Have a great day, have fun, take care.